Hi, my name's Gemma. I'm the Community Engagement Ranger for the North Access team. And this is Luna. Some of you may have met her before on some of our other uh, videos that we've done. We're here today to explore the Countryside Code and specifically about dogs and dogs being outside. We're going to look at what they state is effective control. The main message of the Countryside Code is respect, protect and enjoy. And that includes all users of the right of way to go through the countryside. That could be dog walkers like myself, that could be cyclists, people on motorbikes, on byways, people on horses. It also includes landowners who obviously use the land for crops. Also, obviously we need to protect the animals and wildlife who call this their home. Okay, so I'm just going to read to you what exactly the Countryside Code says about effective control with dogs. When you take your dog into the outdoors, always ensure it doesn't disturb wildlife, farm animals, horses or other people by keeping it under effective control. This means that you either keep your dog on a lead or keep your dog in sight at all times, being aware of what it's doing and being confident it will return to you promptly on command. Ensure it doesn't stray off the path and ensure you can see it, so it must be in your line of sight. Also ensure you are in an area where you have right of access, so make sure it stay on the path with you. Okay, so now Luna and I are going to demonstrate the lead control. So Luna at the moment isn't at a stage where I can let her off the lead and I can be um, confident that she returns to me. So we walk her on a lead. She's very excited to go, as you can see. So. With lead control, just make sure your lead is safely connected to either a harness or a collar. If it's connected to a collar, make sure the collar's not too big so the dog won't slip the collar in case something very exciting happens. So just making sure the equipment of your dog is in good working order and is secure. And we're going to go for a walk on the lead. As you can see, I am walking on the right of way. It's a bit muddy, but I've come prepared with my boots on. And what we can't do is try and avoid mud and walk either side of the right of way. That means then we're walking on crops uh, which have potentially been sown and we're damaging the farmer's crops. So we must stay on the right of way. So this is my friend Lauren with her lovely dog Spoof. Spoof is nine years old, so much older than Luna. You'll see the difference in the behaviour shortly. But what we are going to demonstrate today is a brilliant recall off a lead. So we're going to demonstrate to you how a dog should be in effective control with verbal cues. So go for it, Lauren. Good luck, Spoof. So as you saw, as instantly, as soon as Lauren said come, Spoof was there. And Spoof is sticking by her now, so Spoof isn't running around the field, going crazy, chasing pheasants. Spoof is sticking by her mum, okay? So when it comes to recall, you've got to make sure you've got the uh, confidence that your dog is going to come back to you. So there are some considerations to make when you do take your dog outside. Um, if you're going to go to the coast, for instance, check that the beaches do allow dogs. Certain times of the season, they don't allow dogs. Out of season, they do, so that's worth checking. If you're going somewhere where it's a nature reserve, go online first, check that dogs are actually allowed in the nature reserve. They may have to be kept on a lead. So go onto that nature reserve's website and check before you go. So always plan your trip. Equally, when you come to a field of livestock, However good your dog's recall is, really consider that. Will your dog be well behaved off the lead or is it best on a lead around sheep um, and cows? Usually the answer is yes. So just make sure you've got a lead to hand, even if your dog is great at recall, just for those instances where you might need that extra effective control. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that informative. I hope you found that useful. Uh, thank you very much, Lauren, Sabre and Spoof for being wonderful lead glamorous assistants. Thank you, Luna, for being relatively well behaved. If you've enjoyed that, please like and share. Please like our social media sites. Check out Countryside Canines. That's a really useful website the Hampshire County Council run. It lets you know where you can go with your dogs, appropriate places for your dogs, and gives you really good tips about your dogs being outside in the countryside. So I hope you've enjoyed, um, and hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.